Antarctica is the driest, coldest, and windiest place on the planet. Northern Illinois University professors Reed Scherer and Ross Powell just wrapped up their second National Science Foundation-sponsored expedition there. During their first season, they studied a subglacial lake. This time, they camped downstream in an area called the Grounding Zone, where Antarctic ice, land, and sea converge. The central focus of the research was to try and get some actual physical constraints on what the, consi- what the ice sheet looks like uh, over time and what it's doing right now. What we have found is that these are very sensitive areas to the stability of how dynamic the ice is and how fast the ice may react to increases in melting both from the ocean and the atmosphere. Among the special instruments built for the expedition is a powerful hot water drill, which bored down 740 meters to collect the first water and sediment samples from the grounding zone. A remote camera was lowered to the 400 square meter marine cavity below. Watching from the command center, Cher was surprised to discover a diverse ecosystem so deep under the ice. It's a very mobile environment um, it, the, the bottom is changing constantly, and so the things that we saw are all very mobile organisms, things that swim uh, and, and some things that, that crawl, and, uh, and obviously they, they're getting enough nutrition that, that, they can, uh, that they can thrive. Some of the little crustacean-like creatures called amphipods that we saw swam quite quickly and were quite active. This is the farthest south that fish have ever been seen. Expedition leader Ross Powell says ice and sediment cores from the grounding zone can offer clues to how the creatures got here, what they feed on, and the impact of the retreating ice. We know that the ice is melting there at the moment, and so uh, by uh, opening up the cores once they get back, we hope to be able to understand what the ice was doing in the past relative to uh, what it is doing now. Um, And because it's melting so fast, or seems to be melting fast at the moment, we anticipate that there will be some differences that we'll see in the history of the ice sheet from the uh, sediment cores once we open them up. Powell says the work raises more questions than it answers. Together with other researchers, he's planning to apply for another grant to return to the frozen continent. Roseanne Skirbel, VOA News, Washington.